I'm Professor Tina Good, and welcome to ENG 209, Literature of the Bible. I know I probably look really big on your screen right now, but I've been having some problems with technology, and I just wanted to get this video done. When I shift to share my screen, hopefully I'll be a little smaller on your screen. Um, but uh, I wanted to give you some additional points about this class as we get started. And the first thing that I want you to know and to understand is that we will not be reading the whole Bible in this class. That would take way longer than a semester to do. And so we will be reading some selections from the Bible. Also, I want you to note that this, by, this uh, class is not a Bible study class. Uh, that is to say that this is not a religious class. Um, it is not a class on religion. Uh, it does not mean that um, religious interpretations of the Bible are not valid. It just means that as uh, examining the Bible as literature, we are asking a different set of questions so you really do not need any previous knowledge of Christianity, of Judaism, or the Bible to do well in this class. Um, this is a literature class where the text we are reading, the Bible, is no more sacred than Shakespeare. Now, you know, for me, Shakespeare is a bit sacred, uh, but for this class, God is just a character and even a changing character in this class. So be sure that you are prepared to talk about the text in an academic, historical, and literary way uh, before continuing with this class. I know that some belief systems uh, may prevent you from asking certain questions and talking about it in certain ways. So just be sure that you're prepared for that before continuing. Uh, that being said, I do hope that all of you will stay in class because the Bible is really a very fascinating text. Um, by examining some of the stories um, the, and the characters and the history surrounding them, we can not only develop a deeper understanding of these ancient texts, but also ourselves and others who may have had different experiences than what we have had. Our theme this semester will be focused on what I call the Scarlet Women of the Bible. Now, of course, we can't take a look at the women without looking at the men, right? We can't look at Eve without looking at Adam. We can't look at Sarah without looking at Abraham. Um, so don't think that we will only be focusing on women characters. However, the women in the Bible are often overlooked or marginalized or as we will see, even demonized in cultures surrounding those in the Bible or those interpreting the Bible. So this class will seek to give them a little more of a voice in the stories that surround them. Now, as you know, this is a fully online class. Uh, however, I will be offering optional Zoom sessions every week, starting next week. For this class, the Zoom session will take place on Thursdays at 12.30. So I tried to arrange it around most people's lunchtime. So I hope that you will find the time to participate in these Zoom sessions. Uh, they are worth 10 points of extra credit. So if you're able to attend all of them, it's really almost a full grade points difference um, by the end of the semester. But perhaps more importantly, it will help you connect to the content of the class more effectively, as well as connect to me and connect to your writing and, of course, connect to each other a little bit more in these times of isolation. However, as you can imagine, uh, the core of the class is on Blackboard. Um, so I think that most of you are now pretty much uh, familiar with Blackboard, um, but I know that every, um, that every professor kind of arranges their class a little bit differently. So I wanted, 
Hold on just a second here. Okay, so let me go ahead and share my screen so we can go ahead and take a look at this class's Blackboard site. Okay, so hopefully you're seeing in front of you um, the course Blackboard site for this. Um, and you will notice that we immediately open up to the announcements page. This is, of course, you've already gotten several announcements from me. Uh, this is where you will see those announcements, but also when I post an announcement, they will go directly to your Suffolk email address. Be sure that you are checking your Suffolk email address daily, because that is really my only way of getting in touch with you, of communicating with you. Um, and it is also true for the college. In fact, you are responsible for knowing what comes in that email and we are not allowed to communicate with you on your personal email. So do make sure that you are checking that email regularly. Uh, in order to access your email and Blackboard, you must know your student ID and password. So if you haven't got that all straightened out, make sure you do that so you don't get behind in the class, okay? So as I said, uh, most of this class uh, is located on Blackboard and you will find the core of it right here in the learning modules. There'll be more learning modules as the semester progresses. Um, but this is where you're going to look for all of your assignments, okay? You're not gonna look at assignments or quizzes or even the calendar while they may list some of them they're not going to list all of them. So if you're only looking there and not under the learning modules, you very well could miss an assignment. So make sure that you're checking these learning modules every week, okay? Now, even though this is an online class, this is not a self-paced course. Sometimes people get confused because it's online and they think that they can do it whenever they wanna do it. That is not true for this course. Um, there are weekly assignments and weekly due dates. And in order to have your homework and writing assignments considered for a grade, you must submit them by the due date for that particular week. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on week one, the getting started module, so you can kind of get an example of what a module looks like. Okay, so here is a list of what is due this week. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, the first few weeks are going to look like there's a lot. And there is, because I'm really trying to get you uh, a lot of information contextually, historically, literarily um, about the Bible and about writing about the Bible. Um, and so I need to kind of front load some of this information. Um, but then as we progress through um, the semester, you will see that the number of assignments kind of drops down. All right, so here what you need to do, first of all, is read through the syllabus or um, what's under the course information, which I'll just go over in just a second. There are things on there that I want you to know regarding policies. And in order to make sure of that, um, I am asking you to take a syllabus quiz that is due this week. I'll go over that in just a second. You may also download the Blackboard app. That is not required, it is optional. Uh, if you have a smartphone though, many students do like the Blackboard app. Uh, for one reason, whenever I post anything on Blackboard, including your grades, uh, you get a notification on, uh, on your phone telling you that something's been posted. Uh, you have some convenience by looking at your phone, but do know that the phone does not replace the computer. There are many things on Blackboard that you cannot do on the phone. So it is still very important to, even if you have the app, to do most of your work on the computer. Uh, as I said, I know that most of you are familiar with Blackboard, but I do have some videos about how to do certain things on Blackboard that you can access. Um, I've asked you to watch this welcome video, which I'm posting now. Um, and um, also how I want you to participate in the discussion board, which I'll go over in just a second. Take the syllabus quiz, which I'll go over in just a second. Watch the film. The Scarlet Women of the Bible, and read the beginning of the novel that we're reading 
as a supplement to the Bible called the Red Tent. Okay, I'll talk about that in just a second also. Okay, so it's very short. It's only three pages that I'm asking you to read out of the novel. Um, I just want you to get you started. But if you look down beyond the requirements, this is how I set up the modules, okay? So here's the link to the film that I want you to watch right here, okay? Um, here are links to the videos. Here are the directions on how to do the discussion board this week. And here's the, here's the directions on how to do the syllabus quiz. So let's go back up to the discussion board. In order to access the discussion board, you come over here and click on discussion board. And there you will see week one's discussion board. And what I'm asking you to do is post a picture that somehow connects to yourself and tell us a little bit about that connection between why, why you selected that picture and how it represents you. Okay, just so we get to know each other a little bit better. I'm asking you to have that posted by Wednesday. And then I want you to respond to at least two of your classmates posts by Friday, and then respond to everybody that's responded to you by Sunday. Okay, so I really want to see an ongoing conversation. Many of you have already started doing this. Um, and so I'm hoping that this is a lot of fun for everyone. So to do it, we just simply click on, you can find, um, here's mine, okay. You see, I posted uh, the Hamilton stage and I've talked about why this picture is important to me. Some people have responded back to me, I've responded back to them, right? So it's just a lot of fun. All right, but let's try to wrap that up this week so we get to know each other a little bit um, uh, beyond just, uh, what we look at on the website, okay? Now for the syllabus quiz, you'll come over here to quizzes, right? And you see the week one syllabus quiz. Now notice the syllabus quiz is open book. So you can have the syllabus with you um, as you're taking the, the quiz. It is not timed. It is not meant to trick you. It is only meant to guide you in certain things that I wanna make sure that you know about. Um, but you must of course submit it by the due date. Okay, and this is where your quizzes will be. All right, so let's go ahead and back up a little bit and go, we talked about announcements, um, the syllabus. This is where the traditional Microsoft Word document is of the full syllabus, but really you don't have to print that out unless you want to because everything in the syllabus is either contained here under course information, or as I said, under the learning modules. Right, so if we go to course information, right, we get all the traditional stuff, the description, the outcomes, and then the text, okay? It's super important that you understand that you must have this particular Bible. I know there's lots of Bibles out there, um, but because Bibles are, by definition, translation, we're not reading in the ancient languages, you know, um, that translations lead to certain interpretations and agendas. You know, so while I'm not saying this does not have an agenda, it is a more academic interpretation. And so this is what that Bible looks like, right? It's not a very expensive one, but I do require that you use this one. And you'll notice that this has um, an apocrypha included in it. So we are going to be reading some uh, one or two things out of the Apocrypha. So make sure that you have this particular Bible. Um, also, this is the novel we're reading called The Red Tent. We are reading this, as you can see, right away. So you do need to get both of these books immediately. Okay. Um, they are available at the bookstore to rent or to buy. And I've also seen both books on Amazon. And I do think that you can find them um, in many public libraries. Okay. All right. So the remote, this is, like I said, a remote class. Um, obviously, the best way to get a hold of me is through email. Um, we can talk on the Zoom sessions. You can also set up a one to one Zoom session with me if you'd like to talk through something. Um, those give you the directions about email, but just make sure whenever you email me that you put Bible class in the subject line 
so I know which class you're in. The Zoom sessions, as I said, will be every Thursday from 12.30 to 1.30, and you can receive 10 points of extra credit as long as you have your cameras on, you intend uh, the full session, and you are fully engaged in the class, right? Because I am giving points. It is not something that you can just turn on and then go do something else. You must be engaged in the discussion in order to get um, the 10 points. To join the Zoom session, you simply click on this link. You'll enter a waiting room. I'll let you in, and then we can begin. All right, technology required. Uh, the most important thing here to understand is that Blackboard really is only friendly to office products. That is to say that you really should uh, type your documents as Microsoft Word documents before uploading them to Blackboard. Um, the college offers you uh, free access to Outlook uh, Office 365. And so you do have access to Microsoft Word. Um, and I encourage you to use that. You may uh, convert your documents to a PDF if you don't have Microsoft Word, or if your computer doesn't work well with Microsoft Word, you may convert it to a PDF, uh, but even PDFs can be glitchy, okay? Um, it, Blackboard does not work well with Apple. It does not at all read pages or other kinds of documents. So just make sure that you are uploading uh, the proper format of your documents. Okay. You'll see here information, we'll be doing one essay in the class, information about um, quizzes, group projects, and discussion boards, which will all be a part of the class. You'll notice that I focus on a collaborative pedagogy, which means that I like us to build knowledge together rather than me just lecturing. And if this is a little trying in these times, but we do try to use Blackboard as much as we can effectively uh, to help us connect with each other and build knowledge um, with each other as groups. Extra credit is available for this class. Um, in, in addition to participating in the Zoom sessions, I will be giving you um, occasionally uh, grammar exercises that you can submit to me for extra credit. And also you may um, submit up to one extra credit response per week. And what that means is that you can watch a movie that's based on the Bible or anything that has to do with biblical texts um, and or, or history channel stuff or a &E stuff, anything that has to do with, uh, you know, lectures, you could go to museums and see there's lots of art based on Bible um, and send me uh, a one page response. You can do one of those a week. If you have any questions about what you're doing is an extra credit um, activity that qualifies, uh, just shoot me an email. Okay. There are some course policies there, but essentially um, I really don't want you using outside research at all, especially on homework assignments or quizzes or anything like that. Um, I want you to do it only from your knowledge. Um, and uh, then if we write essays, I really don't want you using outside research, but if you do, um, you cannot use Spark Notes, you cannot use Cliff Notes, you cannot use anything like that. Um, that already gives you literary interpretations because those sources are not citable. So you are setting yourself up for plagiarizing. In addition, you are also robbing yourself of developing the skill of analyzing um, literature. So, so just don't do that. It just gets yourself into trouble and just stay away from outside research unless I spe specifically direct you toward it. Okay, all right. course content is where I will post videos, I will post PowerPoints that I go over, grammar lessons, Blackboard videos, anything um, that I post in the learning modules, I will also post here under course content. Essentially, I don't want you to have to remember what learning module was what video in order to find it. So you, there's some redundancy here, 
and you can find it also under course content. Information about how to contact me, as well as information on the Zoom sessions. Okay, we've already gone over the discussion board, the assignments, the quizzes. This is where if you do participate in the extra credit assignments, you'll submit them here under this link. It's just like any other assignment link. Click on extra credit, type up your one page response as a Microsoft Word document, click on here. Do not put it in here where it says write submission, but instead go down where it says browse local file and attach it here, just like what you would do anywhere else. Just remember to hit the submit button whenever submitting anything on Blackboard. Okay, finally, um, there's this section here that's probably important to you, and that's my grades. My grades is the grade book that's live. So you get to see it the second that I post your grade. You should keep track of this, um, especially if you get a zero and you know you submitted something, you need to contact me right away so we can get that corrected. Um, and also so that you can keep up to date on how you are doing in the class, okay? So I think that about covers it. Like I said, the calendar here is, is here. I have no uh, control over the calendar and what gets posted on that calendar. Um, and it is helpful, but it is not complete, okay? So I think that's about it for now. Uh, I hope you have found this video useful. I'm looking forward to working with all of you this semester. I hope you enjoy uh, the stories that I have uh, selected, the theme that I have selected, and the novel that I have selected. Have a great day.